Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trailer Explanation. In this video, we are going to cover unit schedule jobs using the Apex scheduler from the module Asynchronous Apex. Here, as part of this unit challenge, we'll be creating a schedule Apex class where we are going to update 200 lead records and we are going to also create the test class for the same. So let's quickly launch your Trailer Playground and go to Developer Console. New Apex class, paste the name over here, Daily Lead Processor, click okay now here uh, this is your normal apex class syntax now we have since we are creating the schedulable apex class so we have to add here implements schedulable now as soon as you write implement schedulable you receive an error that you must implement the method System dot schedulable execute and we have to add this execute method in our apex class so let's quickly do that as well public void execute and inside that schedulable sc now next up in this challenge what we have to do is in the execute method we must find the first 200 lead records with blank lead source field and update them with the lead source value of dream force so here we have to fetch the first 200 records of the leads where the lead source is set to blank and then we have to update it with the dream force value so let's just first of all create a list of lead leads list and query the lead records id last name and lead source from lead and limit it to 200 and before this just write where clause where lead source is equal to blank right so this will give us the first 200 records where the lead source is blank then after that, we have to loop around this, but before that, we have to check whether we have this, whether we have values in this list or it is empty. So for that, uh, let's copy this name of the list dot is empty. And I have used the negation sign over here that if the list is not empty, then only proceed ahead. Here we are going to loop around this lead list leads list now we are going to assign the dream force value to lead source for the blank lead source records so let's quickly lead l dot lead source set this value is equals to dream force and after this let's add this in list let's say leads dot add l and let's also define this list outside of the for loop list of lead leads is equals to new lead new list of lead and then after the for loop once this is closed after the closing bracket of for loop we are going to update our list leads that's all. Uh, this is what we have to do in our Apex class. Now let's save this. This is done. Let's move ahead and see we have to create an Apex test class as well. So copy this name and we are going to do the same there as well. Like in, we are going to create 200 lead records and then uh, we are going to call our Apex class. So let's just go to files, new Apex class, paste the name of the test class, click OK. The annotation is test, specifying that this is a test class. After which, let's say test setup, as we are going to create the setup data. Public static void data. Now, inside this, we are going to create the lead records, 200 lead records. So let's create the list first of lead. Now, we are going to use the for loop to create the lead records. I plus plus. Inside this, Let's create the instance variable is equals to new lead. Give out the required fields, last name is equals to, let's make it dynamic. So I and company is equal to, and then status field. Now let's go to lead object and see what status value do we have here. So set up. So open not contacted, let's just copy this one only, first one, go here and put down this value in single inverted commas. Once this is done, now we are not specifying the lead source value here, stating that this is the blank and we are creating 200 records. And once it is done, we are going to add this in our list, dot add L and after the for loop closing bracket, we are going to insert this list. Once this is done, come below and create the method in which we are going to call the Apex class. 
let's name it as daily lead test. Specify the annotation is test, specifying that this is a test method. Now here, uh, the way we are going to call it first, we are going to use test.start test and test.stop test. Between this, we are going to call our fix class string job ID is equals to system dot schedule name of the schedule. So let's say schedule epix. Then here we are going to specify cron expression like when this schedulable epix be scheduled. And here we are going to call our epix class instance daily lead processor new and then paste the name here opening and closing bracket now we have to specify this cron expression as well so let's say string cron expression and now this is of a uh, six character value inside the curly inside the single inverted comma these star are nothing but specifying days, minute, second, month, weekday, etc. And there is one additional seventh option uh, seventh, seventh character which is optional which specify the year in which you want to schedule. That's just the optional character. So we are not specifying here. Now this question mark we can use it for the day of the week or day of the month, which simply means that there is no specific value for this so we are just keeping it as question mark these are six characters we are specifying and i want this to be to run at 10 15 am every day so this is what i have taken up uh, as a cron expression and uses use that string element the string variable over here in the system and schedule expression and terminate this as well now after test dot stop test we are going to do the assert thing. So for that, let's create a list of lead where we are going to query the records, select ID, lead source from lead, where lead source. Now, once our class has been called from this uh, test class, schedule class has been called, then at that point it must then the expected result is it should update all these 200 records with the lead source value to dreamforce now if that worked fine then the records that we are going to query over here should all have lead source set to dreamforce so this is only uh, what we are checking over here in system.assert system.assert equals now the expected value is 200 why because we are inserting 200 records with the blank lead source and then here we are querying querying only the records with the lead source set to dreamforce and we are expecting that this should be equivalent to the size of this list that's all just save this Now, this is our test class and this is our epix class. And this is how the, this is the basic syntax of schedulable epix and the test class. The final thing that we have to do as per the challenge is we have to make sure that it covers all the lines of the daily lead processor class with the 100% code coverage. And also we have to run the test class uh, with run all feature once before checking the challenge. So let's just go back there and click on the uh, test. Click on run all test. Now it's in running. So we have passed all the asserts and it is working fine. Let's go to lead processor and see if it has 100% code coverage. There you go. Code coverage is 100%. Also, you can check it over here on the right hand side uh, at the bottom. Leads, lead processor, daily lead processor has 100% code coverage and the lines it has covered are eight. So there are eight lines that it has covered with the 100% code coverage. So that's all we have to do. And let's just go back here and click on check challenge. There you go. This unit is completed. See you in the next video with another unit or module. Till then, take care. Thank you so much.